They'll run it with Mack. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. him for a loss of seven two sacks last week another one right here he's been unblockable lately and i think that goes all the way back to not just his off season but the film study he's been doing during the week because i think he's found matchups that he likes right, and he's capitalizing and a few times he's even defeated double teams he doesn't care at this point Set up to throw. He's got Evans. 23 yards on the play. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Bucks in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. To the left there, complete to Howard. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. He'll drop to throw. Drops it to Jones in the flat. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They're going to look to throw. 
He hits his target. Left side locks it. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. They'll try and sneak it here. And he gets it down to the 32. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm a little surprised by that call. Second and in inches. It did what it was intended, but it felt like it was a free play waiting to happen. I thought they might take a shot. From the 32 now, here's Detroit! first and 10. Now this time he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. to throw here on second and ten. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. three yard line they do get 18 but even that won't be quite enough it's fourth down Santos on to try the extra point. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and they take the lead here at 7 to 6. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side taken in by Washington. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll run with Mac. And down he'll go at the 25. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. 
But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Out of the gun, Luck. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Gibson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. he works it past the 50. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Right back to him on first down. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, here's Love. Throw left side complete. That's Gibson. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's locked. Now a hit, and Locke lost the football. It's out, and the Buccaneers have it. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Oh, well, he's got him in wide open, complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. defense put pretty good pressure on him but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people on the run had to get on his horse still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down and he will lose yardage here back at the 23 yard line the loss of a full three yards and now it's second down you mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young qb they really haven't been able to do that though in the first half so that means what in halftime Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Detroit! 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 Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. 
And they'll get this down to the 10. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. First time into the red zone for the Buccaneers. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. After the interception, it's locked. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with the Bucs out in front. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. A little 360. Oh, <laughs> Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall i think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up they go play action here on first down got an open man it's washington and they'll bring him down at the 27 yard line they'll give him eight on the play and that'll make this a second down so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First down, it's long. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. They'll roll them out right. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And they work this well up field across the 45. That goes for a game. of 31. Be right. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10.
Luck on first down. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A shotgun snap for Love. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Trying to get that one to his running back, Marlon Mack. And now it's third down. That one doesn't find its target, but all in all, he's been much sharper this week. He was under 50% a week ago, and now he's up over 70%. Well, you know it's standard for quarterbacks and receivers to get together for a little extra time each and every day in practice. I get the sense they got together for a lot of extra time this week to try and improve that passing percentage, and it's worked out quite well. Throwing on third down, Luck. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we've got, yeah. we got, de we got, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Now he's going to let it go. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 39. In that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Finding room to the 20. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Ronald Jones with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Santos with the extra point. And the lead is up to eight. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. 
leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Now a first down throw, Lock. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? On first and ten, Locke. Going for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it a second down. Again, Locke. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? To throw on second down is long. Eluding the pressure right. Under pressure and down he goes. Luck is sacked. Carl Nassib in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Luck and the Colts looking for something big here after the sack. This is third and long. They'll fake the handoff. Now Luck. Flushed out right. And he's got his man. It's Hilton for the Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are a two-point conversion away from tying this football game. So now Luck is going to bring the Colts up here to go for the two-point try. From the gun, here's Locke. And it's incomplete. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? The third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm again, I keep coming back to, I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of two, now third down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Back on it Philly. Here we go. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. On third down, he'll drop to throw. 
He's got Evans. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And break, the tight end's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one and another first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw it. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. He goes underneath to Abdullah. Give him six on the play, and that is gonna set up a third and one. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Here's Brian Anger now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Back to throw, Love. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? On second and ten, Locke. Escaping the pressure right. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and ten. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Set. 319. 319. Ah. On 
the counter. Here's Jones. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. Quincy Wilson in on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And, Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football and at least more completions for them. throw here. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jabal Sheard in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they held them in check on the scoreboard. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Luck now to throw. Rolling to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 32 that time. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. On first down, Love. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. To the air again. Lock. He brought a left side. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Wrong. Wrong. Hurry, hurry. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. Tackle made by Justin Evans. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Locke. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Levante David with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. So the failure to convert no doubt really hurts, but this one's not over. A good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just noted, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning. And that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping hey, hey, them on go. defense now. Three, they can't three, let them get a first three, down three, and make them use their timeouts and get a fresh set of downs. They've got to stop them right here. And if so, they've still got an opportunity. A jump underneath the Jones. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now let's go! 319! 319! Let's go! Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. basketball my coach has always talked about communicating on defense making sure you talk on defense know where your screens are know where the cuts are coming from who has who well guess what it's the same thing in football even though there's more noise out there you can hear all the screams of screen screen the defense the bench everyone let them know what the play was and that's why they were able to react and knock the ball away They'll set up a throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Pitch it out to Jones. And some room to work. The 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. And another timeout taken by the Colts. 
As he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Detroit! Detroit! And they try the sweep to Jones. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And it might seal the deal as that makes it a two-score game here with not a lot of time remaining. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Colts coming out now. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Sliding out of the pocket. Now a desperation throw deep, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by M.J. Stewart, and to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is the six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here again it's Jones he had a great move but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield call it an eight yard gain much better shape now on third and just a yard another good carry there for the NFL's second leading rusher and we've talked on air off air about his MVP candidacy make a case for him well I'm just going to tell you point blank it doesn't matter whether he's first or second or even third in the league in rushing yardage. That's not the main deal. It's how he gets those yards and the impact he has on his ball club. Now the toss to Jones, running right. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Bucs, the win moves them to 8-7 and seven now on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, the slide continues as they drop now to 3-12. and 12. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Houston Texans. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
What's up, gang? Let me go secure for the game right quick. Hey, what's up, gang? I got it. I think it's my fault. For real. What's up, the rest. Hey, I got that chicken to go. I'm gone. A lot of these we lost. They think it's my fault. No car. I want that car. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your... Yeah, yeah, Reynolds and Vinci yeah, is white. Yeah, yeah. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. That's light. LED, look at the light. We the ones that don't like But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. I went from feeling all kites to putting it in my block. Blue Gucci sweater is dress. Somebody give me a. These ain't like the cops. Gossiping more than a. In jail, I had. I make you cut off the. Think that I made it, they can't be my friends, so they wanna be us. So if I see them hanging and I'm in that spaceship, I'm dropping the top. Ain't like my beat ain't no happy belated, I'm calling the guap. Who gave you a voice? Who told you your thoughts call? GPS straight to the money. I put my, my big homie got the big Mickey Mouse. You posted your at 12 and ain't that nice, he had my all over the mansion. Can't sit on my house. I got that chicken to golf. A lot of these we lost. They broke. They think it's my fault. No call. I want that call. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your... Reynolds and Vinci is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. LED, look at the lights. We the ones don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. With, with me, me, boy. Your hands and your fingers. Good. Your ears with a get back, watch you turn to a singer. Get you fighting like the Jerry Springer. You. All of my is at the back that like a popo. Boom, boom. No, dude, these they popo. You. Had a G wagon truck turned to Rojo. Find a cable to us and they won't ride down to Soho. One's black and the other was Mexican. You. Had a like a polo. Younger than you with a Maybach. Younger than you with a Bentley. Finna got in that gently. Angry and friends with these. When I was down, out of so had sympathy. Facts. But that's how I go when you broke. Facts. Now I'm out like Mr. Cole. This do my own. Not gonna lie, some these new clones. Then she asked for a loan. Had to laugh, then I told her get gone. Gonna get this me on. And up give me not a thing. So I spend 90k on my ring. You can see all my pen in my watch. Got my ex down in. Walking around with my hand on my. Cause I'm popping and I know you're not. And I know you see just how I'm living. You're not happy with life, so you. Rockin' Reeboks on treetops, gang. Guap got a big band, like Sasquatch. Every time you see it, what a no, it's time I got that chicken to go. A lot of these look lost. They broke, they think it's my fault. No call. I want that call. I'm dripping, I'm stuck with the sauce. But she love you, don't cut your. Reynolds and Vinci is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. LED, look at the light. We the ones don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. The ops on IG all the time. I dare them go live. Waggle steak, I die. 8 ounce, 255. I can't get fuck you with to groovy you me. If I ain't had love for me, I would have tried to get Nicki Minaj. Jerry ain't gonna let you slide. Dory ain't gonna let you slide. King of the city, I don't want to be a big fish in a small pond. Trying to get across that water. I need fans in Vietnam. If you got a hustle, but you can't stick to the ground, you wasting your time. I need a double of work. I do it for it. FaceTime before I get to the club. Look at the line. Money ain't changed my heart, but I'm smarter. I guess it changed my mind. And I take care of my in prison. Don't think it's safe. I got that chicken to go. A lot of these look lost. They broke. They think it's my fault. No call. No for real. I want that call. See, I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your. Yeah, yeah, Reynolds and Vinci yeah. is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. LED, look at the light. We the ones that don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes.
Look, I defeated my fears, soak the towel in my tears. So ahead of my time, what comes next are all my oldest ideas. I'm wiser than my can check y'all in y'all beard. I'm willing to follow my peers, all of my peers for all of my years. Out in the field, take a look at my shoes. Never had a thought that it might lose. Considering the cost, how to give up my dues. Never got a talk to it like you. I've been feeling like a king for months. We eat all the rich cuisine for lunch. All these wishing he was done. Oh, you tried it, that's a piece of gum. Now, look at me, I'm the captain now. I'm a crew in this year. I be praying for y'all while I'm praying for y'all. Like a lot of views in this deer. I hate a dude with no plans. Now I usually get near. Oh, I asked her, man. Cause I'm the mute in here. We look good, just show us where the camera. Years ago, I had to up my standards. Make your missus Alabama. Turn it to my only private. Swear like she don't got the answers. Who's the boss? I feel like Tony Danza. Walk up in there like I got the swag. What kind of swagger? I'm the blackest panther. What kind of? Y'all are wasting our time. I spend it, but I ain't wasting a dime. Might do some favors, but I ain't breaking my spine. Your girl has been calling for days. I get in all different ways.